we do have it, but it's not until this evening and into the overnight. So outdoor plans for the midday hours, you should be good to go. It'll just be hot, but I want to show you some of the statistics. I've been looking through these all morning long. Uh, these averages and these numbers are taken from the time frame to 1981 to about 2010, which is the normal average now that the National Weather Service works for. But Normal for the month of July, about an inch and a half of rainfall. We're about a third of the way there already just the first weekend. So we've gotten some good rainfall and if, just some interesting stats. Uh, the driest July in that time frame was back in 1993. We got just under a quarter of an inch, so we're already past that. But the wettest July was back in 2006. We got over three and a half inches of rain. But good news is for us, the next couple of days, we are again going to see a pretty good decent chance for rain and storms. Now, though, it is sunny. We have the temperatures in the 70s. It is 73 degrees degrees now with wind south at around eight miles an hour and most of us are in the 60s and 70s. We do still have a few 50s up in parts of Las Vegas, Taos and even parts of southern Colorado, even Rudoso still in the 50s. But as we go through the day, we're going to heat things up as well as bring that chance for rain and storms back into the forecast. Dry outside now we had a few overnight leftover sprinkles up in the northern mountains. But as we talk about the timing of the rain, it is again going to be towards the late afternoon and the evening hour. So the big picture is we have this big storm system pushing through the mid West, and we are actually going to be watching this tail end of this front slide into parts of New Mexico today and then tomorrow, and that brings back the moisture. So scattered evening showers and storms today, then tomorrow abundant moisture. So we're going to look for nearly widespread showers and storms throughout the state on Wednesday. So great news there. But as we take you through Super Storm Track today, again northern mountains looks as though we could get some of those showers and storms by one, even two o'clock. But Albuquerque southward, I really think we're going to hold off on the rain until this evening and. Close Closer towards the overnight hours. So really as the sun starts to go down, that's where we'll have a better chance for the showers and storms. So leading up to that, mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies, 70s and 80s. We'll hit 87 degrees by noon. Then we'll hit the 90s by 5 o'clock with the chance for storms starting to settle in. And you will start to see some of those grayer skies with storms in the vicinity. We'll get to the 80s and the 90s today. 96 for a high today in Socorro, 84 in Rudoso, and 95 in Roswell, Albuquerque. We'll get to about 93, but taking into southern Colorado today, partly cloudy skies, scattered showers and storms possible. Highs today in the low and mid 80s into the north and west. We'll have the scattered evening showers and storms with highs before the rain reaching the 80s and the 90s into the south and west today. Nearly widespread 90s, a few 80s though from Cuomo all the way down through Silver City. We'll also see the chance for scattered showers and storms this afternoon and evening. Then into the south and east today, nearly widespread 90s with partly cloudy skies, a spot storm possible, but for the most part, the rain is going to stay out of the south and east for today. Into the north and east, 70s and 80s, almost widespread. Clouds are going to start to increase through the afternoon and evening, and we'll track the chance for evening showers and storms. That front will keep the chance for rain around over the next couple of days as well. Then into the northern mountains, 70s and 80s with 160 up in Red River. We'll have a high today of 66 with widespread showers and storms and the rain chance sticking around the next couple of days. Into the East Mountains, partly cloudy skies, a little bit thicker cloud cover towards our evening hours as we'll track the chance for isolated thunderstorms and we'll have the temperatures in the mid and upper 80s. 90s though into the metro area, the heights will climb to 92 degrees, 93 in downtown and in the South Valley with the clouds increasing and the chance for thunderstorms tonight and into the overnight. Then again, tomorrow we'll have a pretty decent chance for more rain and storms. All right, keep it coming. That's right. <laughs>